and welcome to Designs About You. I'm Jill Triantis with JL Design, and we are here with abstract artist Michael Bragg from Abstract Painting Galleries, and he is going to talk with all of us about some of his techniques, his inspirations, giving a little bit of history behind how long you've been in um, the art industry. Before we get to this painting that we're featuring, Michael, how about you tell us a little bit about your um, art background, how long you've been in it, and basically your general techniques that you gravitate towards. Okay. Well, I started painting only about two years ago, but when I was younger, I used to do drawing and cartoons and that type of thing, but mm -hmm. as time went on, I just got away from it. And then uh, my wife, well, my ex-wife rather, came home one day and said she saw a painting that she really loved at uh, uh, one of the nicer hotels downtown explained it to me and I said, oh, I'll paint that for you. And of course, I got the, uh-huh, sure, whatever, look, you know, like right. the deer in the headlights. But I went in and got some canvas, got some paint, and I ended up painting it and showed it to her and just blew her away. She couldn't believe that I did that. And I got hooked and just started painting more and more and getting more canvas and trying different techniques and really experimenting with all, all types of um, different uh, mediums different textures. Sometimes I feel like I'm a chemist out there, you know, mixing and matching. I hope nothing ever explodes. And like in this painting, there's four or five different layers, maybe even more, where I layer to get the, the texture I want, the look I want, until I get the final, you know, finished look with the, you know, with the splattering of the paint and the uh, technique at the very end. And um, going back to my story, when I got started painting, uh, within four or five months, I had like 50 paintings that uh, I had done, you know. And uh, of course, my wife says, we can't hang all these in our house. I'm sure I sell them. And I said, I don't think anybody want to buy these. I'll just give them away. But one thing led to another. I got a website. People saw them, friends of mine mostly, and they wanted them. They started buying them. And then, uh, then I, somebody told another person about me and then ended up having them in a gallery down in South End. And slowly but surely, it's... Uh, and we now. met, which was a, um, a wonderful find and gems all around your home. Um, you also are in negotiations. Yes. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that as far as um, negotiations to uh, feature your artwork? Um, we're talking with um, one of the high-end uh, resort here in the Charlotte area about uh, featuring my, my paintings in their, their hotel. Um, currently negotiating to get that done. I'll be the one artist for the spa area of that particular hotel. And uh, so I'm excited about that. Again, we haven't finalized everything, but uh, it's, it's definitely going to happen. It's just a matter of when. Well, we'll have to keep up with your site and see yeah. um, as you update uh, your site and how you progress with that. We'll all be anxious to see the featured um, artwork in yep. that uh, particular hotel. Now, this is, being, is called New York Nights. Um, the coloration, yellow caps, yeah, this is, uh, I'm sorry, this is my, mm -hmm. my vision of uh, kind of like time-lapse photography in art form, um, say from the top of one of the skyscrapers in, in New York is the, the cabs and the headlights and the people and as you said the pavement, sidewalks and all is slowly captured over time and that's what I envisioned uh, in, in this piece here. This was a painting you showed me. Loved it instantly. Um, it, to me, it truly had the movement of marble, which was kind of fitting, which the name is. It is a melted marble. But in the... Marble diffusion. Wonderful. Um, tell us a little bit about this. Well, this... Um, I'll tell you a little bit about the frame. And the, the frame used to have a picture of um, somebody in a wedding gown. And I took that out. And I put in a piece of wood in the background, and nailed it to the back, and then painted it, painted the, this black, it was white, and painted this, this mustard yellow, golden yellow. And then at the same time, I was working on another painting with um, uh, using a, putting paint and letting it run together like this, and trying to get that marble effect. And once I was done, of course, you see I, I used this color to match this, Background. painted the sides also to match. Then I, I uh, mounted it on here 
so that it uh, has a three-dimensional look to it. And I personally like the way it turned out too. Have, a lot, have had a lot of compliments. We want to thank Michael Bragg, local artist from Matthews, North Carolina, for joining us today. Thank you so much for sharing a little bit about you, your techniques, all the different inspirations behind your artwork. And you can find out um, Michael's information on our site as, long, as well as his. And thank you for joining us. I'm Jill Triantis. This has been Designs About You. And together, we can design unique surroundings for beautiful living.